Good morning. Uh, it's Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and I'm back today for another video. Today I would like to talk about how I actually create a class in Windows PowerShell 5. I want to start with a very simple example of creating an instance of the car class. I talked about this in my video yesterday. So the first thing that I need to do is to use the class keyword specify the name of the class and then open and close a curly brace. The way that I actually do this is uh, by doing something like this. So I might type in uh, the class keyword. Of course it helps if you spell it right. Uh, then I specify the name and then I open and I close my curly brackets and that's the way that I uh, that's the way that I started off so I type the the keyword class specify the name of the class and then I open and close my curly brackets. The reason I do that is so that I don't forget to actually close those curly braces. Then the next thing that I do is uh, now I need to specify the properties. So yesterday I spent some time thinking about what would uh, be good properties to have for a class. And today that's all I'm going to talk about is actually creating uh, some properties for this class. Now in the past it was always kind of a nice thing to do when I was creating a function to, to cast or to uh, type a particular variable. And uh, so in Windows um, PowerShell 5, though, when I'm actually creating a class, it is vital that I do this. So here I've got the word string, uh, and I have it in square brackets, string. And then I have this in front of the variable dollar sign $VIN or VIN. So what this is saying is that my variable dollar $VIN is actually going to be an instance of the string class. So when I am creating a new instance of this class later on, then I will uh, the thing that shows up here for my VIN will be a string, and um, so that's how I that's how I would do this. Uh, now, if I wanted this to be an array of strings, so maybe this vehicle has multiple VINs, uh, then I would put uh, square brackets here. Uh, inside of this and then that would be be telling the class that it's going to expect an array but of course a vehicle shouldn't have more than uh, one uh, vehicle identification number. So then just as I can use string I can also use int uh, for integer. Now by default an int uh, in Windows PowerShell is the same as an int 32 and uh, but I don't need to do that I can just say int and it'll be an int 32. If I wanted to use a smaller number I could say it's an int 16 uh, but um, I'm not going to do that. So. Here I'm just saying it's an int, it's an integer, and uh, the variable is number of wheels, and I'm setting it equal to four. Uh, I'm assuming that all cars are going to have four wheels. I can override this if I have to, but um, this is one of the advantages is if I have common properties or common things that I can do, then I can uh, specify these values for this. So all cars have four classes regardless of what type of car it is. So I'm actually just making this as a, a, as a static property. Now the way I make it a static property is I use the word static. And so there it is. So that's my static property. So then the next thing that I need to do is to define the number of doors that I've got. This is also going to be an integer, so I say number of doors. Then I specify the year uh, for the motor vehicle. Now, I could use an int, an integer for this, and type in four numbers, and that would be the year of the car. But uh, I thought it might be interesting later on to be able to be able to use the power that I have from a date time object. So for instance, date time objects have the ability to add um, days, months, and years, or to subtract days, months, and years. So I could find out how long I owned a car by uh, subtracting the current day from the, from the date time or when the car was actually manufactured, which is what this day would theoretically be. Then I could also 
Yeah, and so I need to do a six-month checkup or an annual checkup so I could figure out what those days would be by adding 360 or 180 or whatever uh, days to this date-time value. So the ability to be able to use date, do date-time mathematics to add and subtract and to pick apart stuff, I thought made it very useful to have a cast this value here as a uh, date-time object. Then the next thing that I want to do is I've specified that the model of this is going to be a string. So I run my script and then I say, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I run my script. And so now I actually have the ability to create a, an instance of the car class. So I can say dollar $A is uh, equal to a new object and type in class, a uh, car rather, and press enter and I say dollar a and it returns an instance of this car class now so we've got the date the year uh, which I specified up here as a date time object uh, gets initialized to one 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 whatever you know so uh, if I want to assign new values for this and I say dollar a dot um, model uh, is equal to um, oh I don't know uh, model let's just say you know, Chevy uh, then I can say dollar a uh, dot vin is uh, equal to uh, one two three four five uh, dollar a dot um, number of doors uh, is equal to two and um, so then the year dollar a dot year is equal to and then here I'm going to type in you know one one um, 2015 and uh, so then this will do this. Now when I look at the value of this contained in my object now, then we can see that all of my properties are assigned back here. And I can create another car by coming back and just um, up arrowing and storing this in another variable if I wanted to, what have you, you know, B or whatever. So this is a... Uh, um, an introduction uh, to as to how I would create uh, an actual class using Windows PowerShell 5. I uh, showed how to um, to set uh, static properties as well as other properties and uh, to cast them into strings and integers and date times and stuff like that. My name is Ed Wilson and I'm the Microsoft Scripting Guy. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.